Ah, hello everybody, JT Bear here. Welcome back to JT's Barefoot Outdoor Adventures. Now that I have a little bit of outdoor, I think it's time we got back to playing, don't you? When you get right down to it, I'm a very simple man. I'm really just a happy little Canadian redneck and I've really missed the ability to shoot stuff. So now that I've unpacked my BB guns, check out what we're playing with. So just that classic little Daisy Red Rider carbine and I'm at about 18 paces away from, oh yeah, a Folgers can. Having a little fun, doing some targets. It's been a while, better go find out what the dog's barking at. So I've been sitting here, squatting here really, with the daisy, plunking away at the garbage can, the freezer, and the Folgers can. And I am still standing by my original position that this should not be used to ethically take down a squirrel. You got a better chance with a slingshot. Okay, I don't think I've even punctured that Folgers can at this distance and really you shouldn't be hunting with something that doesn't puncture plastic. Still haven't unpacked the tripod yet but all the same here are a few shots of me just taking a few shots because I finally got enough yard to do so. Like it'll hit the target at this distance which is I did the math, it's like 55 feet, 18 paces is like 55 or 56 feet or something. But, really, it's not gonna do any damage at 50 feet. And I don't know who thinks they're shooting a squirrel or a rat closer than that. So out of the two, my money still says that mossy oak is a much better choice for this. But really, just spend that full on $125, buy a breaker action and do it right. I'll get one of those soon so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it's just a much better thing for your basic pest control. It's either that or look into decent air powered rifles. Some serious, serious fun stuff going on with air powered rifles. And yes, I realize, you know, there are people that are going to say, that's not a rifle. I'm not interested in that discussion. It's got a long barrel, a trigger, and it's a projectile device. It's a rifle. I don't care. All right, well, I guess I'll try and get the camera closer for a few different shots on this. And like I say, without the tripod, it's kind of stupid angles, but uh, let's see what we can do here. So taking a look at this Folgers can, we can see a few places where the BBs have struck it and, you know, dented it a little bit. But, yeah, I still maintain this is not a squirrel gun. Get something a little more powerful if you're going to have to do the squirrel hunting thing. Alright, so I'm going to set up the camera here and try and capture a few of these shots from here, but it's really close to that, so I really hope I don't break my camera. Here we go! Yay, my camera still works. All right, everybody. Well, I think that well and truly proves my point, at least in my mind, it proves my point about how the Daisy Red Rider carbine is not, not for pest control. It is for basic target training. That is it. All right, everybody. That's uh, it for this quick look into the Red Rider and its abilities and whether or not it's good for pest control. Like I've said a million times now, I do not think it is. Thank you for joining me and have yourself a fantastic day. Remember to play safe, but go play outside, eh?